It wasn't until I came to the United States that I allowed myself to dream bigger. It wasn't until I came to the United States where I allowed myself to think that I could be a part of something that changes the way I can view the world. My parents uh, met and uh, fell in love in Miami and then eventually had my sister and myself. Uh, when I turned three years old, my parents decided to move back to Venezuela to work. And I was raised there until I was about 14 years old. For economical and political reasons and, and, and reasons that you can't really control. Our family at the time, we, uh, we were struggling in Venezuela. And, you know, like any family and sick of that American dream, my parents decided that it was time to sell everything we had and embark into the next chapter of our lives. And we came to the United States. So it was exciting. It was exciting to look out the window and see this American flag that you've only seen in the movies. And now this American flag was everywhere. It was an adventure that had opportunity, that had uh, new beginnings, and most importantly, the next chapter of us as a family. There are millions and millions and millions of families from around the world that are waiting to, to be able to have permission for greatness. And if you can really empower this community, if you can really have a comprehensive conversation where you can welcome them, there's no telling where this country can be. And I think it's time that our Congress really truly makes this the priority that it deserves. The cost of inaction is going to be overwhelming. If you are waiting for us to get behind this cause, if you are waiting for us to make up our mind whether comprehensive immigration reform is something that should be a priority, well then you are late to the party because we've been ready. This is really uh, the moment that we have been waiting for as a community. So what do we need to do? Like, what, how, can we, how can we help by really voicing your opinion, routing your, your community, talking to your schools, talking to your fellow students, talking to your family. The more that we can be united, the louder our voice is gonna be. Embrace the change because it's a change that is needed and it's most, most deserved.